friends? Thank goodness you're here. A friend of ours needs our help. Come on. Hello, I am Princess Arabella, and I am trapped in a block of ice. The wicked queen cast a spell on me, and now I'm frozen. You can help undo the spell by using your kindergarten math skills. If we make a mistake, we will find ourselves in danger. So be careful. I need to get back to the castle before midnight. You will need to find clues along the way to help us escape. I know you can do it. Oh my goodness, friends, Princess Arabella is trapped. We better get going to see if we can use our kindergarten math skills to help her get out of this block of ice. Hi, my name is Princess Arabella. Can you help me escape? Click on the frozen ice block to get started. Already I see a frozen ice block right here. Let's give it a click. Wonderful, here comes our first clue. It says, a triangle has blank sides. Hmm, our choices are three, four, five, or six. How many sides does a triangle have? Let's count. I see one, two, three. A triangle has three sides. Terrific job! Click on the snowman to get our next clue. Hmm, do you see a snowman? There he is, thank you, good job. Fill in the blank. The candy cane is blank the box. Is the candy cane in front of the box? To the left of the box? Behind the box? Or to the right of the box? Hmm, well, let's go through. Is the candy cane in front of the box? No, the candy cane isn't in front of the box. It's definitely next to it. So we know that it's not in front of or behind. Now we just need to figure out if it's to the left of the box or to the right of the box. So let's take a look. Hmm, this looks like it's to the left of the box. Let's give that a try. Oh, that's right. Great job, click on the penguin to get our next clue. Do you see the penguin? Fantastic. Elsa is playing with different shaped blocks. Which block has a pentagon face? Let's see, is it A, B, C, or D? Which one looks like a pentagon? Hmm, a pentagon has five sides. Let's count and see which shape has five sides. Let's start with letter A. Letter A has one, two, three, four sides. Hmm, that can't be a pentagon. Let's try letter B. Letter B has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. Hmm, that's too many sides, so that's not a pentagon either. Let's try letter C. One, two, three, four, Five. Letter C has five sides. I think that's a pentagon. Let's give it a try. Incredible. Click on the moose to get our next clue. Do you see the moose anywhere? Great work. There he is. Where is Molly the moose in this picture? Is she behind the tree? above the tree, to the left of the tree, or in front of the tree? Hmm, what do we think? Well, let's go one at a time. Is she behind the tree? No, she's not behind the tree. If she was, we wouldn't be able to see her. Is Molly above the tree? No, she's not above it either. If she was, she would be way up here by the star. Is Molly to the left of the tree? No, if she was to the left of it, then we would see her next to the tree and we don't see that. 
Is Molly in front of the tree? Yes, Molly is in front of the tree. We have the tree behind her and Molly is in front. Fantastic. Click on the Arctic box to get our next clue. Do you see a fox anywhere? There he is. We see his tail peeking out right here at the corner. Good job. Which picture is over the circle? Is it the cat, the ornament, the nutcracker, or the present? What is over the circle? Let's start by finding the circle. A circle is a shape with zero sides and zero vertices. So let's take a look over here. I see a shape that has one, two, three, four sides. Mm, that can't be a circle. This one is a square. And this shape up in the other corner has one, two, three sides. That can't be a circle either. This shape is a triangle. That means our shape here in the middle with zero sides and zero vertices is a circle. Alrighty, so we know it's going to be either the cat, the nutcracker, or the ornament. Now we need to figure out which one is over the circle. Is the present over the circle? No, the present is under the circle. Is the nutcracker over the circle? No, the nutcracker is next to the circle. Is the cat over the circle? Yes, good job. The cat is over top of the circle. Nice work. Click on the polar bear to get our next clue. Do you see the polar bear? Great job. There he is up on top of the mountain. A square has blank corners. Three, four, five, or six. Let's count and find out. I see one, two, three, four corners on our square. Let's choose the number four. You got it. Click on the narwhal to get our next clue. Do you see a narwhal anywhere? Very good. The narwhal has that horn that looks like a unicorn, right? Way over here. Princess Arabella is hanging a wreath on her castle. What shape does the face of the wreath look like? Does this wreath look like a square, a circle, a rectangle, or a triangle? That's right, this looks like a circle. It's round and it has zero sides and zero vertices. Splendid job! Click on the seal to get our next clue. Do you see a seal anywhere? Great work, there he is! Click on the hexagon. Hmm, a hexagon is a shape that has six sides. Let's count and see if we can find the shape that has six sides. Let's start with letter A. This shape has one, two, three, four sides. Is that a hexagon? No, that does not have enough sides. Let's try letter B. Letter B has one, two, three, four, five sides. Is that a hexagon? No, that's not a hexagon either. It also does not have enough sides. Let's try letter C. Letter C has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Is letter C a hexagon? Great job, a hexagon has six sides and letter C has six sides as well. That means that our hexagon is letter C. That was amazing. Click on the orca whale to get our next clue. Do you see an orca whale? There he is, good job. How many pentagons are in the picture? 
A pentagon is a shape with five sides. In this picture, our pentagons are purple. Let's count and see how many purple pentagons we can find. I see one, two, three purple pentagons. Do you see three purple pentagons? Great job! You're doing great! Click on my earmuffs to get our next clue. Do you see her earmuffs? Great job, there they are. What is shape B called? This is shape B right here. I see that it has one, two, three, four sides. I also see that it has one, two, three, four vertices or corners. And I can see that two of my sides are long and two of my sides are short. Do we call that shape a rectangle, a square, a pentagon, or a triangle? That's right, we call it a rectangle. Way to go, friends. You've been a big help. We're almost there. Click on my castle to get our final clue. Do you see her castle? There we go, good job. Pick the picture where the pentagon is in front of the reindeer. Letter A, B, C, or D. Which one shows the pentagon in front of the reindeer? That's right, letter A. In letter A, the reindeer is hidden because the pentagon is in front. We did it, great job. You helped me escape the ice cube by midnight and now I can safely make it back to my castle. Congratulations, you have mastered your kindergarten math review. Thanks for all your help, I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, friends, thank you so much for helping our friend Arabella today. She was really in a pinch there, and you did an awesome job of using your math skills to help her escape her ice block. Thanks so much for working hard today. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.